what do you do or what do you advise someone to do if they come into contact with the takfiri or the likes of them in Iraq or Syria what do you do when you come in contact with a takfiri if you don't have knowledge don't talk to them and it's better also if you have knowledge don't talk to them why? because in many cases if they're ignorant that's different Especially if they're people of argumentation and hadith in Bukhari Aisha radiallahu anha she said that the Prophet said the most hated people towards Allah are the argumentative ones those who argue and these are people of Jidal people who love to argue so if you meet with these individuals the Salaf they never used to mix with Ahl al if it's a person who's ignorant doesn't know any better advise them if you have knowledge if you don't have knowledge don't entertain them don't entertain them and if it's a person who's takfiri from the heads of the takfiris don't even discuss with them even if you have knowledge why? because they are time wasters they will waste your time and they are and it's not from the salaf to do that the salaf they didn't used to sit with the innovators huh? Imam Ahmad said they didn't argue with these people they didn't argue with them even one verse or even half a verse they don't want to hear from them why? because they twist it and the best way to deal with Ahl al-Bida' is to ignore them refute them yes but don't sit with them to discuss with them because they may put bid'ah in your heart they may put confusion in your heart and there's an individual who went on YouTube debating with takfiri huh? and he's saying may Allah and he's making dua for him subhanallah he's making dua for him my brother and this and then who is this? is this how sahaba were? is this how tabi'in were? That they would mix with the Ahl Bida, sit with the Ahl Bida, huh? making dua for Ahl Bida, for the innovators. No, they were not like that. Rather, even those who opposed a hadith, one hadith, they were stern against them. One hadith, they were stern. Ibn Umar, when he, uh, when he, told, when he told his own brother, what was the narration? Salim. When he told him, don't do such and such. And he was flicking the stones. Don't do that because only does two things. Either uh, it will poke somebody's eye or it will break somebody's tooth. So don't do that. Because the Prophet didn't forbade that. And when he continued, uh, he said, don't talk to me, Abaddon. Don't ever talk to me. <laughs> Subhanallah. You see, just from one opposition or one mis- he said don't talk to me how about if he's innovator how about if he's innovator with the, with the incorrect aqidah and with the huh? they oppose the sunnah of the messenger and they cause harm we don't talk to them we don't talk to them bid'ah is evil and the people of innovation they are, they are people of confusion if you talk to them discuss with them they may put something in your heart that will confuse you. And in fact, this individual came on YouTube and he's debating with Takfiri. He lost the debate as well. And he's supposed to be, huh? he's supposed to be calling to the correct path. What is, what is this? Is this the correct path? You have opposed the manhaj of the Salaf. And don't tell me Ibn Abbas I went to the Khawarij and he debated with him. So therefore I'm doing the same. You are not Ibn Abbas. Radiallahu anhumah. You are not Ibn Abbas. Because Ibn Abbas defeated them. And you failed, O oh, Abdurrahman, or oh, Stad Abdurrahman, do what they call you. you failed, and he defeated you. And Ibn Abbas didn't do mujamalat with them. Ibn Abbas made dua for them. Ibn Abbas was stern against them. وَلَيْسَ فِيكُمْ أَحَدٌ مِنْ أَصْحَابُ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ And he defeated their arguments one by one. And when they saw Ibn Abbas, and they saw him with a nice cloak, and one of them said, Oh, look at the cloak you're wearing. And Ibn Abbas replied to him, he said, I saw the messenger Sallallahu wearing better than this. And he shut him up. That is Ibn Abbas. No, may Allah, God, may Allah have, give us Jannah, may Allah do this, may Allah La ya rajul. This is not Sunnah. This is Bid'ah that you're bringing. Bid'ah. Because you are co-op, you are on the same platform. And why should I listen to Mubtadi? Why should I 
I give my peace and you give your peace. Why? I do my uh, sunnah, which is probably upon ignorance anyway, uh, that you're bringing without knowledge, without firmness. And you want to enter that arena. And you want to, and you want to listen to him for half an hour. I give my half, you give your half. And the, all the masses of people, many occasions, they're just looking to see who's the most eloquent. They're looking to see who's, you know. And you look, and you put, you, you humiliated the, huh? yourself. Wallah, humiliation. You want to humiliate yourself? That's humiliation. You go against the sunnah of Rasulullah You debate. And the other one, this one, what's his name? Murtada. You go and debate with Usama Hassan about music. The man is saying that we came from monkeys and you're going to debate about music. Subhanallah. The man's statement statements of kufr. And you want to debate about music. About sins. And the title of the debate is Music Singing or Sinning? You sinning. You are there debating, doing bid'ah. You sin. You're doing bid'ah. By bringing a methodology other than the methodology of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. sunnah they don't debate with the innovators and the people of confusion. They don't debate. Yes, Ibn Abbas went to them. But look what Shaykh Ubaid Hafizullah says. Ibn Abbas went to the Khawarij. First and foremost, he sought permission from Ali ibn Abi Talib, who was the Khalifa at the time. Which, who, which Khalifa did you ask? Ha. Number two, the Khawarij were all in one place, Nahrawan. Yes? Gathered. They were all in one place, gathered. Not scattered about. That's number two. Number three, Ibn Abbas. Rather, who's Ibn Abbas? Huh? The Prophet supplicated for him. Allahumma wa fiqhu fi deen wa alimhu ta'wil. That's Ibn Abbas. Fiqh and ta'wil. Understanding. And he's from the most knowledgeable of the Quran. Ibn Abbas. And you want to go and debate with it. Huh? With the khawarij. The takfiris. You want to debate with them. You're not at that level of Ibn Abbas. And fourthly, the khawarij, you see, Ibn Abbas, he sought the permission of Ali radiallahu anhu. And that is the condition that you seek permission from the Amir, uh, the leader of the Muslims, the leader of a nation, in order why to bring them to accountability. Which accountability are you going to bring these khawarij to by debating with them? No accountability. You go home, he goes home, have cake afterwards, everyone's happy. What's this? This is bid'ah. Bid'ah in manhaj, in methodology. No way we find uh, the way of the salaf is to debate with the, with the people of innovation. And Ibn Abbas, that was an exception, and that was also with its conditions and prerequisites. Nobody can bring something else. Look how Ibn Abbas did what he did. Did you do exactly like him? No, you didn't. And did Ibn Abbas accept what they have brought? He refuted what they have brought. One by one. And alhamdulillah, out of 6,000, 4,000 turned back. Out of 6,000. In, in one report, 4,000 they turned back. 2,000 continued to be upon what they're on. So, don't debate with the takfiris. Don't debate with them. Give them the hujjah, and that's sufficient. Give them the proof, and then close your ears. Don't listen. Don't listen to them. To put even one verse in your heart, that is upon confusion. Abadan.